The Bible talks about priests and prophets and pastors. Yes, there were people like those in the Bible. But not everybody who served God was in that capacity. God also used kings and politicians and businessmen and students and millionaires. Uh huh. Millionaires in the house. Atawewe, you can also be a servant of God. God used them. God used students. He used farmers. And the implication is that everyone can and should be a servant of the Most High God. Uh, when Pastor M said, if you're not going to do it, God is going to find someone else to do it. And so I don't want to settle. You know, it's actually an open secret, but it is a secret. You know those things which are open secrets, like, like everyone knows that if you buy your wife gifts and send them flowers, things will be better. It's an open secret, but it's still a secret because some people don't, don't, don't yet, haven't yet figured out how to engage it. They, they see, how do, how do you do it in Uganda? You have a, a, a song, as in, how do you do it? So it's a, it's a secret. A time will come when you will not be able to preach the gospel to your parents, to your brothers, to your workmates. The time will come. To your spouses it will come and my encouragement guys this is your moment you may not have the words to preach to your husband it may not even be appropriate for you to say those words now but my goodness your fervent prayer could be the thing that is keeping them from God uh -uh, you cannot be asleep at 4 30 and that man does not know God that woman does not know you can't that child doesn't know Jesus yet you can't be asleep and hoping someone else is praying for your family how laziness really affects your Christianity um, nothing's going to happen while you're in bed um, and personally I'm a guy who loves being in bed so that one hits me hard um, but yeah it's for get out and do something indiscipline is one of the things that can make me not serve God very well, as well as fear. And I'll be looking to no longer have fear and just be very confident of what God is doing in my life. Uh, and also just to beat my body to submission and make it my slave uh, so that I can be able to really serve God without being tired, without being lazy, without being indisciplined. Yeah. You know, having been in a ministry all these years, I marvel when I meet some people who we looked up to, like in university, the guys who were the spiritual demagogues. You look at them now, and you're like, what happened? Honestly, it's so, it's so shocking. People we lifted speakers for, and handed microphones to, and mixed sound for, and no longer working with God. It's a shock. And the, the thing I've noticed about all, all of them is they stopped serving. Let me tell you that one of the things that is keeping you in Christ is serving.